What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So another Claw 8 video here, and I've really been enjoying my time with this device and the new Intel Core Ultra 7 chip, which is such an improvement over the original last year. And Intel has also announced their XESS 2 frame generation technology that's been coming to some older titles, and it's coming in upcoming titles like Pirate Yakuza, Shadows, and other ones here. And it's already in two games with Marvel Rivals and in F124. We're gonna take a look at both of those in the video. Essentially, this is Intel's answer to nvidia's dlss with frame gen low latency and super resolution and this is locked behind the arc intel gpus so unlike fsr frame gen that you can use on any hardware more like dlss if you want to use their frame gen technology you have to be on a compatible gpu and the new intel chips here like in the claw 8 are compatible and can take advantage of xess2 which combines their upscaling features with their new lower latency and frame gen tech so let's go ahead and get in and take a look here at what i've got on my msi claw and we'll start with the f124 now it's not like this game needs frame generation it runs just fine low medium high whatever you want and i'm going to leave this at 1200p on medium for now just to take a look at this stuff in the video and of course we now have our options here we can use xcss for our upscaling which is much cleaner than amd's fsr and we're also going to have the option to turn on the new xcss frame gen here from intel which is included in our xcss 2 so pretty cool we can go in and turn that on here only one of two games so far that has it but as the technology gets better and as it comes out in more games i think it's going to be really useful like amd and like nvidia for these games now if i put these side by side again it's not like this game needs it and don't pay too much attention to the frame time line there it always looks a little funny with frame gen on but on this vrr screen it is super smooth in person it's hard to show that filming this at 60 fps and putting it on youtube but having that vrr display and using this intel frame gen technology actually looks super smooth on here and feels good too as far as input latency the other nice thing is because xcss is a bit cleaner than fsr it actually looks nice it's not too bad as far as like coming up with ghosting and the, the little bit of ex pixelation issues that you get especially in fsr i do love amd's tech and where they're going and where fsr 3 is at we've got four coming but it's not the cleanest of all of them when it comes to dlss intel and amd so yeah it works really well here i want to jump over and take a look at marvel rivals this is definitely a more popular game and it's a competitive game so i know it's not necessarily the one you want to use frame generation and i'm really aware of that but it's only one of two games that has the tech right now so i'm leaving this at 1200p xcss and then we're going to turn on frame gen here in a minute now i don't know why we're using unreal engine 5 for competitive games like this i really don't prefer it it's unreal engine 5 has just been heavier to run on a lot of hardware and a game that looks like this and is competitive like this should pretty much run with no problems and be pegging my 120 fps without frame gen but here we are this is the case and we're running around playing a little bit without frame gen on and forgive any gameplay i have had zero time to play rivals know nothing of the characters or the meta or anything but i can jump in and test and take a look at how it's running here uh on the claw 8 so let's jump over we're going to go into the settings let's turn on the intel xcss frame generation here which is also going to use their low latency tech along with their upscaling on performance and for performance i'll say the picture quality here especially in person stays really good and when you introduce the frame generation here we're not getting a ton of ghosting or pixelating or anything like that that we uh would get with fsr it's more like on par with dlss and i don't want to say that i haven't tested but it feels that way or looks that way because i'm a big fan of what nvidia does with their dlss stuff but anyway it feels fine to play this way i of course with when it comes to frame generation there's always going to be some kind of input latency that's added there but their anti-latency technology here combined with the frame gen and their upscaling all together does feel pretty good i'm always going to notice when frame gen's on but even though i don't have any experience in the game i feel like if i was playing this game a lot i wouldn't have too much trouble just playing with frame gen on or off and that says a lot for what intel is doing here with this xcss2 technology considering it is really new it's only in two games so far and intel is behind amd 
and nvidia as far as just the time they've put in so far to get their upscaling and frame gen and everything where they want it but it's come along pretty quickly and i've said since 2019 even if you're not a fan of frame gen and upscaling and all of that i totally get it but We've been veering away from the idea that just raw power is going to push all these games for years now, about six years since we started with DLS and ray tracing and all of that. So that's where the industry's headed, like it or not, just like digital games and us losing a lot of physical, that's where it's going. A lot of devs are leaning on all these features. That's why we have a lot of games that aren't optimized that great because they're leaning on the upscalers and all of the anti-aliasing stuff and the frame gen and all of that. But that's where we're at. So if that's where we're at, I want to see all of this technology continue to improve. And right now, I think NVIDIA's got the best, Intel's got the second best, and AMD's the third best when it comes to the upscaling technology and the frame generation. But we'll see how this pans out as more games come out and are compatible. I'm looking forward to testing the new Yakuza with this, the new Shadows with this, and see how it's implemented in a lot of these newer games, just like the other companies are implementing their frame gen and upscaling. It could be a great thing here for uh, Intel handhelds having this kind of tech uh, usable for them and being locked down to the GPU so that they can really optimize it for those chips. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.